welcome back you guys to another day of vlogmas what's up guys good a beautiful morning today is day one of moving day so you guys are actually going to see this if my calculations are correct on day six of vlogmas but today is actually only the day before thanksgiving but it is the best day for us to go ahead and empty out our storage shed before we get another monthly charge and we're going to empty it here into the garage so paul and i are actually here at the new house right now just getting the garage whoa He's dropping stuff. Uh, just getting the garage set and ready. We actually went ahead. Jeez, guys, stop throwing stuff at me. Uh, we actually went ahead and got these shelving units from Home Depot. They were about $80 a piece. And what I love about them is that each shelf holds 800 pounds. So we already had one at the house, which we brought over here. And then we went ahead and bought three more so that we could line the wall with shelves. And when we come in with this giant storage shed full of stuff, we have a place to put it. So Paul and I are going to go ahead and finish emptying out this garage just kind of getting everything to where we can go pick everything up and then we're also doing a fridge swap so i have a ton of those little beverage coolers everyone always sends them to me to do like sponsorships with them so i had a bunch of them but my realtor is the one who's giving me a refrigerator he actually just bought a brand new house himself and he had a brand new refrigerator but the homeowners left one in the house so he's just had it in his garage and he offered to give it to us because his wife wants to park in the garage and all she does is want it out of there so i wanted to do something nice for him and he's the only thing he ever kept in that fridge was his like beer for football so i am gonna bring him one of our little fridges we cleaned it up all nice and we're gonna kind of do like a fridge swap he doesn't really know that i'm giving it to him i just kind of want him to have a thank you because he was an amazing realtor so we're actually gonna do the fridge swap today and then we're also going to pick up my kitchen table uh, i found it on facebook market it was a really good deal 500 bucks for this huge farmhouse table and I don't want to bring my table over from the other house because the chairs are all ripped and destroyed and the table is all broken but it's super heavy and it's not even going to fit in my van so while we have a moving truck today to pick up the fridge and to move the storage shed we're also just going to go ahead and drive all the way up to New Braunfels and pick up this farmhouse kitchen table that I am super excited about because now I can start like getting my mindset of how I want to decorate the dining room for Christmas like my mind has been all over the place on what I need from where so I'm gonna go and help him because while I'm talking he's pretty much finishing everything but I will definitely take you guys with me today all right you guys our garage is officially clear Paul are you going out the garage or we're gonna close up in here I love my little red truck mat We got our ADT installed, all of our new locks installed, our new doorbell, cameras, the whole deal. I got that set up already. I still have to put lights in there, but I'm kind of upset about it because if you can see up there, all this is exposed. I only have that tiny little overhang and that does not protect any of the stuff from getting wet so hopefully it'll survive out here but i love how that's coming out and that's not staying we just threw that there for right now but all right you guys time to go pick up the moving truck all right you guys i apologize about the lighting and about the look but you're gonna get me hot and sweaty a lot for the next couple of weeks for sure because there's so much going on and I don't have time for dress up and makeup but Paul and I did head over we picked up the U-Haul truck we went over to my realtor we did the fridge swaps so we have that in the back and then now we're at the storage shed and there was one thing on my list from the storage shed that I needed to pull out above everything else and I just found it let me show you what was so important oh i forgot i have extras the e l f so he comes 
every year on the 27th, which just coincidentally is the day after Thanksgiving this year. And so, like I mentioned to you guys, this is the day before Thanksgiving. And so I needed to score him so that I can set him up on Thanksgiving night. And I forgot that I have a whole bunch of little things in here from last year that I didn't go through. Oh my goodness, yes. So I'm so excited. I need to leave that here where my kids cannot see. And then here's where we are at storage shed wise so I'll bring you guys upstairs in just a second but let me just stop and tell you that a majority of what you see right here is Christmas because I have a problem and I've been collecting Christmas for way too long yeah Paul that's all Christmas this is too and so we're trying to put all the Christmas stuff on the top of the U-Haul truck so that I can keep it separate and that can just go right into the house and I don't have to decipher like that's all the Christmas trees. I don't know you guys, these are still so much. That's the refrigerator that we picked up so that's good. So now we just need to continue unloading upstairs so that we can get all this unloaded at the other house and I still have to go pick up my new kitchen table. So today is going to be a day. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving Oh yes we do It says please hide packages Won't from husband for traffic Daddy got that for me Cause he knows it's and true Alright well let's put it on the dolly Come on I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down okay with looking at me looking like this I am exhausted you guys I am so thirsty like my mouth is just sticking together because I am hot I am sweaty but as you can see our storage space is empty but now our truck is completely full and we still have to go back to the new house unload all of this and then once we unload everything we have to drive to New Braunfels because that is where somebody handmade these kitchen tables and left put them on Facebook market and he said it won't fit in my van even with all the seats out so I need to get it with this u-haul truck before we return it tomorrow and tomorrow is thanksgiving so i'm not going to ask anybody to meet me tomorrow for a kitchen table so we have to get it done today and like i said i am hot and i'm sweaty and i'm exhausted and i still have to go dump all the stuff into the house and that's going to give me like heart failure because i won't move anything over from the old house to the new house until all this stuff has a place and it's put away because I can't have clutter. Like that's the whole point of taking your time to move in is so that we don't have to deal with tons of boxes and chaos and clutter. So it's starting to get hairy, you guys. It's starting to get hairy, but all right, let's go get into the U-Haul truck. Let's get this back to the house and let's unload so that I can go get my new kitchen table and I can't wait to share it with you guys. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, you need to be because that's where you see things more in live time because I'm going to post a picture on my Instagram of my kitchen table. So if you guys follow me, you'll have already seen it, but this is coming out so much later that oh well it depends there's probably other videos that'll come out before this that you'll see i don't even know i'm losing track of days all right you guys let's pack up and get out of here if i let figure out where the road goes 
Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. She said, see how crazy our family is? Yeah, you can say already know. I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. All right, you guys, so there was a tiny change of uh, plans. So the guys ended up taking the truck back to the house and unloading about three quarters of it and then going to pick up the kitchen table. Daryl had kind of joined Paul and I a little bit later because he closed last night, so I wanted him to get a little bit of sleep before we were like moving boxes all day. So his car was there. So he ended up just dropping me and the kids back off here so that I can start getting the house cleaned up before Thanksgiving and the kids were filthy from running around the storage shed so I wanted to de-germify them. I put them in the tub and then I got my video up for today. Like it's been crazy and I could have just skipped on posting but I'm practicing for Vlogmas because again this is before Vlogmas started and so I'm kind of practicing with trying to make sure I get a video out every day even when it's crazy and chaotic and like I said, practice, right? I mean, the, I fail Vlogmas every single year by having at least a day or two during the month that I just can't post. So I'm trying to pre-film and get stuff ready for me to just upload. And I wanted to come home and get my video up for today because like I said, it's the day before Thanksgiving and I wanted to get my potato recipe out sharing with you guys how I make my mashed potatoes and my roasted potatoes and my poutine. I mean, most people aren't going to make roasted potatoes and poutine for Thanksgiving, but so many make mashed potatoes. So I want to be able to at least get my recipe out there, but between that and getting the kids all together and... Okay, I'll be right there to help, okay? So in lieu of all of that mom ordered pizza and I literally never ever do that so that's <laughs> I took it for today like that was it I was given in and I ordered pizza so everyone is fed the kids are upstairs doing their flush and brush routine brushing teeth and getting their jammas on and all of that I'm gonna tuck them in and Jake is gonna listen out for them and I'm gonna go meet the guys over at the house I am just dying to see my kitchen table like I need to see it in my life and I need to deliver the guys food because they are starving so I will definitely bring you guys with me but I wanted to check in and let you know that it is is much much later from the last time that I left you but I had tons of stuff to do so I'm gonna go tuck my kids in and then we will go head over to the guys and deliver them some pizza check out how they did unloading the truck and I get to see my kitchen table I'm so excited all right I'm not gonna say that I'm exhausted one more time but I am exhausted it is 11.30, it is now much, much later after I talked to you guys last, but I had a little bit of a snafu. So you guys tell me what you think. So here is the kitchen table. I know it's kind of hard to see because the guys threw some boxes. Um, oh, that's a really heavy box to move. Um, I'll come over here and move this box just so you guys can get a better look and see. So he did a good job staining the top and everything. Again, I think I told you guys already, this was somebody that I found off of Facebook Market. And the pictures looked really, really good, you know, as everything always does. But the guys went and picked it up, like I told you guys. And then when I got here, I was just kind of a little flustered because you can see that he stained the tops, but he didn't stain the bottoms. And like he built it and then painted everything. And then some things are just not finished. Like I'm not trying to be over particular, but this will actually hurt my kids. And for $500, I just don't know if it's worth that. But can you see if it focuses this little pointy piece? This is like wood from driving the screw through that beveled out. And then he just painted over it without sanding anything down. He didn't like putty any of the holes or anything i don't know for 500 dollars, i just don't know how i feel i loved the farmhouse concept i think it looks amazing with the floors this is exactly what i wanted but the bench is short like it's only four feet and the table six feet so it's like you lose a lot of seating because it's not as long as it could be if it was five feet i wouldn't care but the four foot bench you just i don't know there's a lot of room to still play and you I mean you can 
do some chairs on the end, but it would kind of be hard with this design. So really it's meant for you to just have benches on either side. And they're definitely not long enough. And I just don't, this room is huge. The people in here must have had a way bigger table beforehand because it took up so much more of this space. Daryl said he kind of likes that if we empty it out and just left the table in here, we can use the walls kind of for what we planned for because there's so much space in here and it would be a nice large dining room. But I feel like the table gets lost. A little bit so I'm kind of disappointed about that I don't know how I feel I'm gonna call him tomorrow and just see if I can haggle with him to give me back some money or at least build me longer benches and I mean like I said there's there's work that I have to do that's why I want money back like I have to sand things and putty holes and stuff so like my kids don't get splinters otherwise my husband could have built me this for cheaper than what I paid but he just doesn't have time so I was trying to like save him time but this is kind of ridiculous but on a happier note my batteries that I thought were dead well actually thought that these were broken but the batteries were just dead and my brand new batteries from Sam's just lit up my lights in here and this is now working so I'm really happy and my favorite part of all you guys ready to go my favorite part of all are you guys ready this is the only thing that made me happy right now wait wait is that look at my wreath with my working batteries that actually work in my tree and this makes me happy and I put my little believe sign at the door and I have this all set up out here so I'm feeling a little bit better that's the only thing I kind of numb the pain you guys because I'm not kind of disappointed about my table but we need to leave because it is so late and I still have to get gas because I have like 30 miles until empty and I have to go let Marissa's dog out because she is with family for Thanksgiving. So I need to go and let me out. So I still have an hour. Oh, and I have to go home and brine the turkey. Yeah, this is why I never sleep. I don't even know. This is a hot mess. All right, you guys, I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I got gas. I let out Mia and now we are home to brine the turkey. And so this is the brine that I picked up from World's Market and it says turkey brine with sea salt, cranberries, garlic, sage, apple, orange peel, juniper berry, peppercorns, thyme, and rosemary. But it says this entire thing gets put into two gallons of water and then you put the turkey in it, which pretty much means you need to put it in a five gallon bucket, but then you're supposed to chill it. So how am I supposed to fill, fit a five gallon bucket in my refrigerator. So I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. I think I'm only gonna put half in this bucket that Paul just found. He just cleaned it out. And so we're gonna see if the turkey fits in it. Here, bring it over, let's see if it fits. I mean, that's really not, is this the only bucket we have? Is that the biggest pot we have? All right, so I don't know if I'm brining my turkey, which makes me pretty sad. Maybe we'll have to just brine one of those rotisserie chickens just to try it out. But this is supposed to make a, 19 to 25 pound turkey so those little chickens i have are four pounds so i don't really know but i don't know how this is not enough i mean i guess you could only soak half of it but what would be the point point? and it barely would take any water because there's barely any room left in this bucket Ugh, i don't know you guys decisions decisions all right you guys there's no brining of the turkey because i don't have a bucket big enough so that's a boo for me i'm gonna have to do some kind of mock thanksgiving or cook a turkey for christmas i don't know i was really excited about using it but now we're not using it so i'm gonna go ahead and go to bed rest for a couple of hours and then start the day all over again so thanks for hanging out today with us on our first official moving day I really appreciate you guys and i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys tomorrow for another day of vlogmas Bye, guys.